But if we move on to this Saturday, uh, we've got the Welshman, Liam Williams, fighting the American world champion, um, Demetrius Andrade. Um, thoughts? Thoughts on that one? Yeah, it's going to be a really big test uh, for Liam. He's won this fight for a while, to be fair. I uh, do quite enjoy his style, so I always follow what he's saying on Twitter. Um, I think he's won it all of his last seven by knockout since uh, losing those two to Callum Smith, but uh, he's moved up to middleweight since then. I think Liam both Smith. Them, Liam, Smith. Li- Liam Smith, that was it. Uh, both of them are super well to win. There's four of them, you can never tell. Um, yeah. What was it? Um, so reading a lot of the interviews, because uh, I think it's on the zone this Saturday, and uh, his confidence yeah. is quite infectious, you know. Um, I think uh, I, I don't really know how he's done against Southpaws before. Uh, I try. I didn't really bother trying to have that much of a dig into it, but I'm always going to be biased towards a Welsh fighter in a world title fight. But if he can get past the power early of Andrade and sort of his awkward style, I think um, I think he can really get inside him if he sort of drag him into a war in effect and he could win on the scorecards in that way. I don't know if he's got the power to knock him out because. You know, he's, he's not fighting Andrew Robinson on the uh, on BT Sport card as he's fighting a world champion who's uh, he, he's never been finished or been defeated before. But again, there's some questionable opponents on his uh, resume. I think you were, I think you said a week or two ago, who was he really fought that's world class? I think um, it's been one or two recently while he's been defending his uh, middleweight belt where they've accused him of overmatching people against him. I think he knocked Luke Keeler down five or six times in the early rounds and I, don't, I think he finished him but in the later round there was another guy I think Artur Akovov that was a very controversial stoppage towards I think the 11th or 12th quite late on and referee said he was out on his feet but I, I definitely don't think he was it wasn't um wasn't like the one we saw at the weekend with uh, Conor Ben but yeah how do you think that one's going to go down what are your thoughts on Andrade's um it's it's a world title fight and then it's very soon late, you know, a couple of weeks after, four weeks after, you've got, for me, the fight of the year. You know, I've been waiting for this one for two years. Billy Joe Saunders and Saul Canelo Alvarez fighting on Chenko de Mayo. I just think that, um, you know, if Andrade's carrot will be that, because I know that, um, for me, it's absolute crap that Canelo picks opponents and has avoided. He's never avoided anybody. You know, he's fought 40-odd times. He's been a pro since he's... Before, I think he was 16 or 17 at the late, at the, at the latest. He's only like 25 now. And I've been following him since the start. You know, he, he was Saul Alvarez. He was... Canelo's come on at a much later date in the last couple of years. But Saul Alvarez, when he was 17, 18... You know, fighting full full blown adults and winning. Um, you know, he, he fought Floyd Mayweather when um, it was too early for him. You know, he got given a lesson, but it, it would be a totally different result now. Um, obviously, because Mayweather's sixty five years old. But um, if he'd fought him in his prime, I think it would have been a different result. Um, but that's the carrot for him. So. I don't know. Williams is a good fighter. He's only lost, as you said, against Liam um, Smith. Smith. Liam Smith. Uh, yeah, Callum Smith's brother and Paul Smith's brother. But, um, you know, he's... Williams is a good fighter, you know, but he's more of a... He's, he's a fighter, not a boxer. So I think the... the all, You mentioned awkward. That would have been the first word coming out of my mouth for, uh, you know, Andrade. He's... He's he's six six one six two. Um, he fights on the back foot. He's south boy. He, co- he cocks the left hand, and he's he, he's he sits back in his stance. So when Williams is coming forward, and you know to try and knock somebody out who's who's outside the pocket, he's outside your distance. How is he going to do it? Um, because if he comes forward and, tr- and, and you know, swings the right and tries to knock him out, then the counter punch is there for Andrade. He's, I think Williams is only about 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, um, my only thing for Williams is he's probably fought better opponents than Andrade. Um, you know, as, as I keep saying, yeah, I'm, I'm one for stats. I love my stats. And he's fought 29 fighters. And you, 
you couldn't you, you wouldn't recognize any of them you know not a single one uh, you know if i read out his 29 names you wouldn't recognize one of them uh, there's nothing on his cv and he's calling out canelo and he's called he's called out um uh, you know billy joe saunders in the past. he's a nice guy because um i've seen him a few times commentating for sky you know and he's 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 a likable character um <laughs> So, but he, he needs to step up now. Once he's fought Williams, he needs to step up and fight. Even if he doesn't fight Canelo or Billy Joe Saunders, there's plenty of people just be just above Liam Williams's level. Um, who who then you? Oh yeah, okay, you've beaten him. Now start calling out people. You know that. For, so for me, it's um it's an awkward one for Williams. Um, it, it's not an impossible task because he's only ever lost against you know Smith, who's fought. You know a lot of good a lot of good fighters um but it's it's just how's he what's his tactics going to be to get around that awkward stance of andrade that would be my i can see how billy just Saunders would do it because he's technically fantastic i can see how canelo would get around it because he's relentless and he's got a good chin so i i i can't see what Williams brings to the party to get around that. If he does, great, fantastic. I hope he, I hope, I hope he beats him. But it's, it's a tough, it's a tough one, tough one for me to um, go with Williams. Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been scratching my head looking for some justifications why I think he's going to win. So I've been uh, watching a few of his previous fights in the build up to this. Um, I tried to do a little slice about this on my own podcast as well, uh, Dragon Sport. Please listen to it, guys. <laughs> So I just thought I'd chuck that in there as well. Um, but uh, I think the main thing I could come up with, uh, he's been training with Dominic Engel. I don't know if it's since uh, the two Smith losses, but quite a while now he's been going up to Sheffield to train. I've noticed he's a hell of a lot better sort of switching between head and his, sort of his head and his body attack and not just sort of being a headhunter, sort of trying to wade in and knock people out. Um I don't know if he'll be able to get a few decent shots in early, put some money in the bank, sort of start draining Andrade a bit, because he has got finishes later on on his record against some overmatched fighters, but some of them are controversial stoppages, so it's how much does his power really translate later into the fight. Uh, yeah, uh, Liam Williams has been in Vegas for a couple of... No, it's not in Vegas, sorry, it's in uh, Florida. So follow him on Instagram and Twitter and that. He's been there for a few weeks now. So he'll have acclimatised to a time change and that. So that's probably what affected him too much, hopefully. Um, yeah, I, like you said, I don't think he's going to knock him out. I think he's about 5'10". So he's got a three-inch height advantage on him. So I'll probably translate a bit into the reach as well. Um, the other little saving grace I could find. So uh, Liam Williams has beaten a guy called Alantas Fox before. Fox did lose a decision to uh, Andrade back in 2017, but he did drop him early in that fight. So, you know, he's been dropped by someone Williams has beaten before. If you want to cling on to that little tidbit, I'm sure Sky will bring it up, but that's all I could really find. But I'd like to, uh, about the time we had another Welsh world champion, I uh, think since Lee Selby lost to Warrington, we've, uh, we haven't had any. Hmm. Yeah, so there, it's a, it's a... It's a good point. It's a good point, but it's in, it, interesting. There's nothing really on the undercard that takes my fancy. But that's you know that's no. it's a good um, it's a, it, it's a good one to talk about. Um, but you know we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. 